why would you want to try and, and dig out the fossil fuels? We don't need them when we've got clean, renewable energy that we should be looking at. The whole, the risks associated with it are far too great to me. And they're not, the risks are at every level. It's local risks, things like, you know, the things I've said about traffic and noise and light. But then if you look further afield, you know, the danger to the water and our air and our soil, the environmental risks. And then, you know, looking further on, climate change. You know, why would you go for a fossil fuel when you can invest in something cleaner and greener and more sustainable, but you feel like the odds are stacked against you. So you feel like you're not being listened to. So, you know, the, this government say, oh, we're localism, we'll let local communities decide, and, and yet they're not listening. There's no social licence, as people are saying. There's no support from communities to have the um, shale gas industry arrive on their doorstep. So I think the government are realising the only way to try and force this through is to take it away from local authorities. It was about fracking, but it's about inequality in the population. It's about the appalling tricks that the governments, Tory governments in particular, play on us. It's no different from the years of the aristocracy ruling the, um, the, the riffraff. You know, we were all clearly riffraff. And the way the police treated us was appalling. We're not treat I, I saw so many young women screaming, blood dripping, dripping down their faces, on the ground with policemen kneeling on them. It was unbelievable what was going on.